getting started in this thing with the uh, uh, Hyperlite. Looks like yeah. you're uh, progressing at quite a pace here now. We've uh, come away since I uh, talked to you last. Yeah. So what's happened uh, since uh, Sunday? Well, we uh, got the tooling all cleaned up, refurbished. Yeah. I noticed that uh, this uh, single place here is also using a different type of cover than uh, what I'm used to seeing in the past. On the the uh, fuselage is the standard uh, pre sewn envelopes. The tail feathers and the wings are uh, stits. Is this something that we're, you're looking at offering or are offering now? Uh, that's kind of uh, up to the individual builder. Uh, if they want to go with the pre sewn envelopes, we can supply those. If they want to go with polyfiber, we can take care of that too, or a combination of both. Now, you're offering both of the aircraft in both the single and replace configuration? Yes. Okay. yes. So, let's talk a little bit about the kit. Uh, when you're uh, delivering a kit to the customer, what is he actually getting when he's, he's delivered to the store? Well, with either kit, they're going to get uh, pretty much everything they need to fly it except paint and gasoline. Unit ready to They're pre-welded. Uh, powder, powder coated as well or painted? Or? No. Uh, right now we're not uh, going to offer any kind of powder coating. Uh, just It's kind of pricey. And uh, if the customer wants to powder coat it, he can take care of it himself or we can make arrangements to have it done. But uh, they get the just the pre-welded fuselage, uh, rust proofed, and then it's up to them to prep it however they like. So, the wings, what type of construction are you using in the wings? Those are all stamped aluminum, spires and ribs, uh, riveted together, and uh, D cell leading edge. What kind of building time would the average person be looking at? For a single place, a uh, guy with average skills and average uh, tools could probably put one together in about 150 hours. And uh, the two place with the poly fiber uh, process, about 250 to 300. Now, what about the engine options available for them? Where do you start in your single place? Uh, the single place right now, there's been a lot of interest in the Zanzatera, the MZ-201. Um, we've had some people ask about Perth and Kawasaki, so those we're kind of looking into right now, but uh, nothing definite. The two places standard engine is going to be the 503 Rotax. Now, what kind of performance then would the average person be getting out of it? Say we take a single place aircraft, put uh, the small Zanzatera on it, which, would that be a legal ultralight in the United States? It's a, a legal 103 ultralight, yeah. What kind of performance would you be getting out of it? Uh, you can be off the ground at about 150 feet, climb at about 600 feet a minute, and uh, you can expect about a 60 mile an hour cruise. What kind of fuel uh, capacity have we done on board? Uh, five gallons on the single place and ten on the two place. Where's the fuel located? Right behind the pilot. And instrumentation and stuff, is that all like options or is this stuff that's Well, we're going to give them the, uh, the airspeed indicator, uh, tack and a compass as standard equipment, and then everything else is optional. Uh, yeah, the two plane is going to come standard with uh, just the band brakes. They can go with hydraulic disc if they like. Um, some of the other options include uh, bigger engines. Uh, the single plane can go with a bigger fuel tank, bigger engine, uh, different combination of props. Uh, again, with the bigger engine and the 10 gallon tank, it's going to put them into the experimental category. Uh, it comes standard with a fiber or a, a plexiglass canopy, and uh, it's not recommended open it in flight. Um, uh, how long does, say for example, if someone were to put an order in at the show here, do you figure you have uh, to order? Right now, to be realistic, we're probably talking 12 weeks. Well, what kind of uh, changes did you make to the original uh, unit uh, that was being supplied uh, prior to this? Uh, virtually nothing at all. Uh, they've uh, Everybody that has one loves them, so uh, there's really no reason to... to full success. So basically it's just the tooling that you just had to, to Yeah, out. yeah the tooling is about 25 years old now and just uh, over time and use uh, it's just worn out. Uh, just need to be uh, refurbished and updated. If somebody want to get more information, have you got a name, address, and website they can get a hold of you at? Yeah, our website is uh, www.hyperlightaircraft, all one word, dot com. And our email address is tbirdrj at aol.com. And, and an actual physical address and phone number for the company? Uh, it'll be, uh, well, the, uh, the address is, uh, we're on Mile End Drive in Shelby Township, uh, 50230, and phone number is area code 586-212-5862. And what state are we in? We're in uh, Michigan, just north of Detroit. Thank you very much for your time.